Space burial refers to the launching of samples of cremated remains into space. Missions may go into orbit around the Earth or to extraterrestrial bodies such as the Moon, or further into space. Samples of cremated remains are not scattered in space so do not contribute to space debris. Ashes remain sealed in their small capsules until the spacecrafts burn up upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere or reach their extraterrestrial destinations. Suborbital flights briefly fly ashes into space then return to Earth where they can be recovered. Small samples of remains are launched to minimize the cost of launching mass into space, thereby making such services more affordable. History and typology The concept of launching remains into space using conventional rockets was proposed by the science fiction author Neil R. Jones in the novella, The Jameson Satellite, which was published in the pulp magazine Amazing Stories in 1931. It was later proposed as a commercial service in the 1965 movie. The Loved One, and by Richard de Groot in a Seattle Times newspaper article on April 3, 1977. Since 1997, the private company Celestis has conducted numerous space burials flying as secondary payloads. First flights The first space burial occurred in 1992 when the NASA Space Shuttle Columbia mission STS-52 carried a sample of Gene Roddenberry's cremated remains into space and returned them to Earth. The first private space burial, Celestis Earthview 01, the founder's flight, was launched on April 21, 1997. An aircraft departing from the Canary Islands carried a Pegasus rocket containing samples of the remains of 24 people to an altitude of 11 kilometers (38,000 feet) above the Atlantic Ocean. The rocket then carried the remains into an elliptical orbit with an apogee of 578 kilometers (359 miles) and a perigee of 551 kilometers (342 miles), orbiting the Earth once every 96 minutes until re-entry on May 20, 2002, northeast of Australia. Famous people on this flight included Gene Roddenberry and Timothy Leary. Suborbital flights Short flights that cross the boundary of space without attempting to reach orbital velocity are a cost-effective method of space burial. The remains do not burn up and are either recovered or lost. Moon burials The first moon burial was that of Dr. Eugene Shoemaker, a portion of whose cremated remains were flown to the moon by NASA. Shoemaker's former colleague Carolyn Porco, a University of Arizona professor, proposed and produced the tribute of having Shoemaker's ashes launched aboard the NASA's Lunar Prospector spacecraft. Ten days after Shoemaker's passing, Porco had the go-ahead from NASA administrators and delivered the ashes to the Lunar Prospector mission director Scott Hubbard at the NASA Ames Research Center. The ashes were accompanied by a piece of brass foil inscribed with an image of a comet hail bop, an image of Meteor Crater in northern Arizona, and a passage from William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The Lunar Prospector spacecraft was launched on January 6, 1998 and impacted the south polar region of the Moon on July 31, 1999. Missions are proposed by both Elysium Space and Celestis as part of a mission by Astrobotic Technology of Pittsburgh. Pet burials in 2014, Celestis launched Celestis Pets, a pet memorial spaceflight service for animal cremated remains. Prior to then, a Monroe, Washington police dog may have flown on a 2012 memorial spaceflight. When this news broke, Celestis president said that if dog ashes were on the rocket, the person who supplied the cremated remains likely violated the contract they signed with Celestis, dedicated spacecraft 
On May 17, 2017, Elysium Space announced the world's first memorial flight involving a dedicated spacecraft. The CubeSat will be placed as a secondary payload on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as part of a dedicated rideshare mission called SSOA planned by Spaceflight. The launch will take place from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Private companies such as Celestis, Inc., Elysium Space, Ascending Memories, Orbital Memorials and Aura Nova Space Limited. Topic: Space flight history. Topic: Orbital. Topic: Moon. Topic: Deep space. Topic Suborbital Topic Notable individuals buried in space Topic Launched into Earth orbit Jean Roddenberry, August 19, 1921 to October 24, 1991, creator of Star Trek. Gerard K. O'Neill, 1927 to 1992, space physicist. Kraft Eric, 1917 to 1984, rocket scientist. Timothy Leary, October 22, 1920 to May 31, 1996, American writer, psychologist, psychedelic drug advocate, and former Harvard professor. Charles Oren Bennett, January 21, 1928, 1999, space illustrator. James Doohan, March 3, 1920 to July 20, 2005, actor best known for his portrayal of Scotty in the television and film series Star Trek. Celestis also launched him into space in 2007 and in 2008. L. Gordon, Gordo Cooper Jr., March 6, 1927 to October 4, 2004, American astronaut. He was one of the original Mercury 7 pilots in the Project Mercury program, the first manned space effort by the United States. <laughs> Buried on the Moon Dr. Eugene Shoemaker, April 28, 1928 to July 18, 1997, astronomer and co-discoverer of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. Topic: <laughs> Launched into outer space. Clyde Tombaugh, February 4, 1906 to January 17, 1997, American astronomer and discoverer of Pluto in 1930. A small sample of Tombaugh's ashes are aboard New Horizons, the first spacecraft to attempt to pass by and photograph Pluto. This is the first sample of human cremated remains which will escape the solar system to travel among the stars. Topic: Future space burials. Leiji Matsumoto, born 1938, Japanese creator of numerous celebrated anime and manga series, including Galaxy Express 999, Space Battleship Yamato, and Space Pirate Captain Harlock, announced his intention to have a symbolic portion of his cremated remains to be launched into space on a future Elysium space mission. Majel Barrett (1932–2008), American actress who played Christine Chapel in the original Star Trek series, wife of Gene Roddenberry. 
A symbolic portion of both her cremated remains and Roddenberry's cremated remains will be launched into space on a future Celestis mission. William R. Pogue (1930–2014), American astronaut, and Louise Claiborne Keisch (1925–2013), American sculptor and painter. <laughs>